Good morning, everyone. This is Rick from the Corn Life Network, and I am back for a Friday morning edition of a special shout out. Thank you, everyone. Um, this is going to be a rather short video, but it's not, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be short or not, but um, I'm tired. I was up late last night, and uh, just for the sake of saying, a um, uh, little, little bit put off this morning. I, you know, I, I did find out all of our information is copyright. That's something I did not know. And um, this person I'm going to shout out actually informed me that she's given me a lot of good tips through her channel and through other uh, things she's done on YouTube. Um, and, uh, I'm not going to say her name because I, I don't want to do that. I, I think, I don't think that's right. Her, but her channel is Abacus Inc. She's great. Um, her, she does pro, well, it's not all pro bono work. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, what her status is as far as being an attorney or whatever, but she's got an extensive law background. And she kind of helped me understand a little about what was going on with this, YouTube thingy that we talked about last night. Um, what it seems like, and how she explained it, was that YouTube has this red program, okay? So you purchase the red program, you get a 30-day trial, and these sites are downloading our information for free using the red program, YouTube Red. So I'm thinking about this and going, well, you know, and her advice was I need to go and talk to the FBI, and um, um, I agree that I should do that. Um, but I'm not losing anything, so I don't know what I have to gain. Um, getting an internet attorney would be too expensive for me. I I don't I don't know. Um, but as a whole, as creators, shouldn't we be concerned that YouTube is allowing free access to our? Um, information, our copyrighted uh, video productions. Um, it's a little troubling because they aren't protecting us anymore. They're offering it for free, a 30-day trial or whatever it is. I haven't looked yet. Let me, let me look this up. It's YouTube Red. YouTube Red. Um, and um, Okay. YouTube Red. Streaming service. 901 Cherry Avenue, San Bruno, California. Formerly called Music Key. Um, parent is Alphabet, Alphabet Inc. through YouTube. Let's see if they offer me a free subscription. Try it free for $9.90 a month with one month free trial. So without paying us any money, without paying YouTube any money, they have access to all of our information for a month for free. Then they don't pay. And they've gained all the access to everything YouTube has to offer. Everything. Including our content, as we can see, because this uh, pirated site, because they obviously can't be a real site. It, I, I don't understand how YouTube can manage all of our, uh, all of our accounts through AI and unsubscribing and s stuff like that, and they can't manage things like this. Um, but are, aren't they a little bit responsible, or are they a whole lot responsible? They give our content away for free. They're not monetizing us. They're not doing anything to a site that's going to make pirated money and make pirated videos and pirated money from our information. I know some of you out there have, have emailed... Um, prominent YouTube celebrities, like um, Casey Neistat, for example. Um, you know, I, I, I hope they care. I hope they care that their information's out there for free. But with a six-figure income, I don't know if I'd be worried about my copyright. I mean, Casey, Casey kind of knows that. Uh, he's a filmmaker. He's, I don't know if he's going to care, but hopefully he does. Hopefully... Is this something I asked her this morning and I haven't gotten a reply back for? But is this something as creators we should be thinking about a class action suit? I mean, this could get me thrown off YouTube for suggesting this. 
I'm not afraid of that anyway. I could go to another platform and not make any money. Um, but shouldn't we be concerned that YouTube is does not once again have our best interest at heart? They have making money at heart more than their creators. I doesn't you know? I was also asked whether this you know turns me off from creating videos. <laughs> no. Um, I'll find another platform. I mean, as I mentioned, Amazon Tube, OpenTube are all possibilities that are coming up. There are several other things that are coming up that I could use. I like the YouTube community I've developed here. Um, as of now, I have 169 subscribers. That's right now. And that's my subscriber count. And that makes me happy. Because that's where I was last week when they took me, took 15 of my subscribers and tossed them into the trash. One of which was was um, the lady from Abacus Inc. who found out and resubscribed. That is so nice. I encourage you all to go look up Abacus Inc. And I'm going to put a link in the description for this so that you can f go and check her out. Go check out her channel. She's a, a great person and, a, and, and someone that I really, really like. And she does this a lot of this work for free pro bono. So um, that's pretty rare. Um, there's a lot of advice on that channel that are, is really good, um, and I, I would I would recommend that you as professional content creators think about you know looking at some of her services um, in in some of your other areas. I mean I don't know what her area of law is or what what practice what what she, what she does. I don't know. I, I just know that she's very intelligent. She has um, a lot of knowledge about things other than just YouTube. Um, very smart content creator. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I said I said it's gonna be a man's channel, but I am gonna sit around this table and continue to do this, paid or not. I really enjoy YouTube. I like all of the things I get from YouTube. It's not for me. It's not all about the content cre creation. It, it that's that's not it. I'm actually discovered the best part about YouTube is you guys. You guys are the best part of YouTube. The guys I follow on other channels that I have community community with who aren't part of this creator group, they're the best reason about YouTube. We all, as a whole, are the best thing about YouTube. YouTube does not recognize this. So if YouTube continues to do this, shouldn't we just, you know, I mean, it, maybe they'll see the, 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 the writing on the wall when they don't have creators that are coming up and being and developed? I don't know. Um, that's an answer that that we'll have to see, but maybe uh, I, I mean you know the part of the problem is some of the controversy that's surrounded YouTube this year, and it's not just Logan Paul. I mean that's that's I mean seriously pretty. It's a serious matter, but the matter is is that it's affecting their money. So their money is more important than content creators. Their money is more important than anything. Money is also, if you believe the Bible, the root of all evil. So is YouTube evil? No, no, because we're involved with it and we're not evil, most of us. <laughs> I mean, but they, they have a problem with other things too. I'm reading in the news lately that uh, um, there's a lot of scams go around with YouTube. There's one that actually helps them create fake live streams. There's another one that that's out there that... Um, Actually, uh, they're sending information to YouTube. Your YouTube account is whatever. It's a phishing screen, s scheme. Um, they also have one that, that's just a data mining s scheme, just asking for your email so they can spam you. Um, so, yeah, be careful. Your email out there as creators, we, um, we could be targeted. I mean, maybe in a broad sense, we're just kind of throwing it out there. As your, it might be a YouTube user. Um, you can lose your account and you're kind of afraid of that. Well, we're not just casual YouTube users, so be, be careful with that and um, uh, make sure you're not part of a data mining effort. Um, make sure you're not part of a, a phishing scheme. And most of you are smart enough to do that, but some people still are, are questionable. You know, if they got a letter from YouTube that they would take quite seriously because they are serious like I am about this content. But, um, like any other responsible um, company, YouTube would never ask you for your um, your contact information. They've already got that. They would never ask you for your um, 
for any kind of account number or phone number or anything like that because they've already got all that information. They can find us and they would contact us. As you know, if we violate a copyright violation, we get a little message. If they want to demonetize us, we get email. So just just think about it when, when, when the scams that are running around and being a part of a community of YouTube, that there are not the nice people out there like the people uh, sh show today TV dot com the 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 lightly used word gentlemen and gentle ladies at that company in California whether they're in California or they're actually wherever they are in the world but um yeah that's that's got to be a pirated site our content is not owned by YouTube I know that and um they can't sell it off um I guess they could transfer rights I think that's possible but we'd probably have to have the opportunity to be able to withdraw our content which wouldn't be too hard, but a lot of us have not saved all of our content. If you've saved all your content, if you haven't saved all your content to a hard drive, I'd buy a buy a buy a hard drive and save all your uh, MP4 files that you can download off of YouTube. That might be handy just in case something were to ever happen to YouTube. Think about what would happen if something happened to YouTube. Um, you know, what, let's say they have a huge scandal on YouTube, and YouTube gets sued. And all of a sudden, they don't have operating. Well, it's Google. They're not, they, they're loaded, so um, I doubt it will disappear. But um, what if? I mean, you know, we we thought MySpace and and um, and we think Facebook's never going away. I'm sorry to tell you, but everything goes away in time for some reason or another. Wouldn't it nice to have digital copies of our own stuff so that, like, a platform like let's say Facebook is really big in the media in the media field, such offering this. Wouldn't we want to transfer all of our content to? Um, to Facebook or to Amazon Tube or OpenTube or one of these other possibilities? I know I would. Um, I might start cross-posting to Facebook now with some of the stuff that I'm doing like that. I know I just share links, but Facebook would more than welcome my content that I do for other things on their platform through the Corn Life Network, which I, is, is available on, um, on uh, Facebook under the Corn Life Network as a page. So... Yeah, um, I welcome you to, to visit that, the the, the uh, Corn Life Network Facebook page found under the Corn Life Network, not very hard. Um, but yeah, you're more than welcome to uh, follow me on Facebook if you're if you're interested in doing that. And, and um, yeah, do anything. Also, I am at Lake Sponge on Instagram if you'd like to follow me on Instagram. Um, I haven't figured out how to hook that up yet, but I'll put the tag in the, or the, I'll put the uh, my my username in um, the Instagram. So if you follow Instagram, you can follow me there. I'd like that. I'd love to have a greater contact with the community that I have that I already have. So um, I feel really blessed to know all of you guys. I feel blessed to know um, the gentle lady from um, Abacus Inc. She's great. Look at that up. Look that up. Great information. Wonderful person. So. With that, I'm going to uh, kindly say au revoir, and I'm going to um, take a leave from this and do a vlog this weekend, and I will be back Monday with more uh, news and from unofficial news and information about YouTube. Signing off, Rick.